let me see if I can't dig up something interesting. These threads combined with a bit of Humper Monkey really drew me to this site to begin with, so I might as well contribute, right? Weird shit happens to me, frequently enough, as to seem pretty mundane and boring. Only very rarely does something happen that really gets me. In the most recent something of that caliber happened just a few months ago. A little bit of background for you. My wife, Ash, and I have been married for four or five years and live in a little two-story townhouse. Pretty normal place. Living room downstairs with the kitchen and two bedrooms upstairs. We have recently got rid of a troublesome roommate, so having the place all to ourselves has been really nice. She works at a bakery while I'm prepping for school, and things are going pretty damn fine for us. The day it happened was completely routine. She gets up and goes to work. I putter about, doing bored guy stuff. She comes home. I make dinner. See to it I make her laugh, my sworn duty as a husband, and talk about the regular bullshit married people talk about. We go to bed, and as I'm dozing off, she plays her Game Boy until she zonks. I pop awake at like 3 in the morning for some reason. It was one of those nice fresh, bam, you're awake now motherfucker, awakenings with zero sleep fallout. I love those. I had to take a leak and figured that's what woke me. Go to the upstairs bathroom and do my thing and figure, since I'm awake, I might as well brew some coffee or get some breakfast ready for Ash. So I head downstairs and immediately notice a few things that are off. The living room is lit and the TV is on to some ridiculous infomercial. Might have been the is Colin cleansing hype one. I think it was because I distinctly remember the guy talking being so strange looking, fake tan, and I swear he was wearing makeup. I digress, but that guy really is weird looking. Anyways, TV is on and I notice Ash sitting on the sofa across from it. I stop at the bottom of the stairs and look at her. She's sitting upright, hands on her lap, just watching the commercial. Hey, I didn't know you were up. Good morning, I says. She's still watching the commercial, has her ever-present smile on, and says back, Yes. I start to head to the kitchen, when she turns her eyes to me without moving her head and asks, Would you please hand me the remote? I stop, turn, and look at the coffee table that's between her and the couch. And the remote is sitting right there. Dude, it's right there, I say, pointing. It's seriously within reaching distance of where she is sitting. She's looking right at me, still not moving her head, and she has some of the clearest blue eyes of anyone I've ever met. Yes, she says. I didn't think any more of it really. Yeah, she could have obviously reached out and took the remote off the table, but maybe she was meditating or practicing ninja stillness skills or whatever. We are irregular people on occasion. So I walk over to pick up the remote and hand it to her, and about three steps in, I get this feeling. I'm almost within arm's reach of both her and the remote, and every hair on my body just goes apeshit. Goosebumps from my cheeks down to my back. My heart rate goes from calm and normal to Sonic the Hedgehog is drowning music without any warning. It hit me so hard I felt faint. My fingertips are quivering. If I hadn't taken a piss moments before, I would have right then. Some of you have described this feeling better than I can, and you'll know it well enough. My body is saying no. It's like a biological prey reaction. It's how I imagine deer feel right before they bolt. I'm not exactly paralyzed, but near enough to it. She still hasn't moved, just watching me with those calm, clear, and safe eyes. The guy on TV is still talking about how science proves flushing your ass with water makes you a happier person. Gets rid of the toxins. I'm getting tunnel vision, and little sparkles at the edge of my vision. The kind you get when you stand at attention with your knees locked like a recruit. I'm going to pass out. I am completely familiar with this progression of sensations. The twinkling, the sparkly chills, and then bonk. I managed to break eye contact with her 
and stare at the remote and back away slowly. It's weird how I keep bringing up the anal hygienist at the commercial, but his really androgynous voice was, I think, actually giving me something to focus on, other than what was happening, as absurd as it may sound. I managed to back up to the stairs and put a foot on the first step. The oh shit feeling is still there, but the twinklings are gone, so I don't feel like I'm going to pass out anymore. But I feel... Ugh, like if I take my eyes off the remote, I am fucked. The second I look away, when she isn't in my peripheral vision anymore, it's done. I can't blink. I don't dare to shut my eyes. And even though I'm breathing steadily enough, my heart is just going fucking nuts. I can hear it, and I'm fucking positive, so can she. Felt like I was on that first step for hours. Couldn't have been too long in hindsight, but right then, it was forever. Finally though, I took a dose of fuck it, and as calmly as I could, turned and went up the stairs. I turned my eyes away and focused up at the top of the steps. I refused to look to my sides. I refused to look into the living room. I head up the stairs, and I could just feel slow movement behind me. I know if I book it, I'm fucked. Like, that would be uncorking the bottle of very bad shit under pressure that's behind me. So I don't, but oh lord do I want to. I make it to the top of the stairs and turn to go into my bedroom. I notice the lights are off downstairs. So is the TV. I can feel her at the foot of the stairs, looking up at me, but oh man, I do not have the balls to look back. I step into my room, shut the door behind me, and make my way back to my bed in the dark. I'm feeling around. My heart is still fit to burst. I feel a sleeping cat, Sam, my erstwhile buddy and the only cat I haven't ever wanted to strangle, despite him being a complete asshole at times. I feel around Sam, find the edges of the blankets, and then I feel my wife's foot. She's warm and sleeping like a pile of rocks. She isn't making any noise, but I can feel her rhythmic breathing. I slip into bed, shut my eyes, and throw the blankets over my head like a fucking six-year-old. I still don't know if I actually managed to go to sleep after that. I think I just stayed up until she woke up to the alarm at six in the morning. I do know that at some time around noon that day, I passed out so hard. It was like I hadn't slept in days. 